Hi right, folks, welcome back to more PGA Tour from EA and we are at Hilton Head Island this week, South Carolina for the RBC Heritage at Harbour Town Golf Links. So let's jump straight into it. Everything looks all right. It's another cracking course. It's a beautiful looking course, this one. Let's take a little screenshot of that. I've probably got a screenshot of that anyway in one of my folders somewhere. And I'll shut up while the little intro comes on. And the PGA Tour, so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the beachside town of Hilton Head and Harbor Town Golf Links, it's final round coverage of the RBC Heritage. Well, this is the essence of golf distilled. 18 holes to decide our winner. Every decision is impactful. Every misstep, a potential tournament wrecker as we look at the current leaderboard. We're looking at a tie at the top at seven under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking to cobble together a solid round here on this fine Sunday. Okay, let's get into it. Good old Scottish Shetler, right? Eh? Bloody hell, can that guy play some golf? <laughs> My goodness. Right, what we got? Uh, first hole's a 403 yard par four. Got the wind a bit against us. Want to try and be over this right hand side a little bit. I don't want to hit it too flush. Maybe a little, that wind's going to push it a little bit to the right anyway. That should be okay. Yep, yeah, I mean, his last round at the Masters, Scott Scheffler, bloody hell. Uh, flawless. Absolutely flawless. I mean, he had that little wobble like, but... And this week, he shows up, what, Wednesday, plays 9-0, and that's him ready for the, the weekend. <laughs> and then today, Saturday, he hits that 8-under. Wow. What a player. Okay, let's go. What have we got? 129, that wind a little bit against us again. Right, let's down loft this up. Oh, don't want to put any draw on it. That should be okay there, I reckon. Oh, am I going to get over this branch? I don't think I am actually, so I might have to put some draw on it. I'm going to have to put it past the pin then. Don't want a power approach. Finesse should take us past the pin. Right, let's try that. Oh, that looks not too bad, actually. Oh, not bad at all. That'll do it. Oh, that was a good strike. Took it straight at it, too. Got one bounce and check. What a play. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. And he will definitely not... Tell you who I was impressed with last week as well, though, was uh, A-Bug. Wow. The second hole, the first of that kid's got a good... Um, here at Harbour Town. At a mere 502 yards, it is also the good career ahead of him. That swing's flawless, isn't it? You I mean, just watch it. Block you out from going for the green too, but a drive of the short grass could open up. Okay, second hold, 495 yards, par five. It's quite a short um, course. This it's only about par 71, I believe, if I remember right. Um, right, very tight right around there, but there's not a lot of run on the fairways, so it should be okay. Oh, that's pushed that way right. That's probably going to be in the rough. Yep, that was that fast, I think. Well, the fast shouldn't push it over to the left, though. Crap. Um, we'll be at 87 to 96%. What we got there? Six iron. Let's go with the five iron. Yeah, that should get us around there. I have to put a little bit of draw on it, I think, as well. Uh, a little bit of fade, should I say. Let's try that. Is that, that branch right there I'm worried about, though? As long as we get up close to the green, it should be okay. Oh, bit of a slow, though. Oh, tell you what, that slow might be all right. Oh, there's my dog just woke up. 
hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, oh boy. Too long, sadly. All right, little pitch. Um, do you know what? I'm going to try and stop. Let's start using this spinner because the pitches don't um, stop very quick, do they? So I'm going to start using this. Come on, hold a green. That's not bad. Should be okay. We should pick up the birdie. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. Okay, we're off to a good start. Birdie, birdie. Okay, craft a seven under. Will certainly help the cause. This third hole at 469 yards is pure Harbor Town. It's narrow. The emphasis here is on hit your tee shot in play, and a par is a good score. I promise you. Par is a good score, right? Okay, right. We've got four thirty-eight. Let's just try and hit a nice drive here. Oh, under swing, but I got the perfect on the way up. In the short grass. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time. Okay, let's down loft this so we don't get any spin. Come on, we'll get this. Okay, we're the perfect there. That should be pretty good. Oh, that's nice. Can we get it? Yes! A three on the bounce. Looks like we could be in for a good round here. But you're not getting a lot of run on the greens, you're not getting a lot of run in the fairway either. What a beautiful little hole this one. Tough little pin place though, the greens are quite small on this course. It's a Pete Dye course, I think, isn't it? Yeah, because what hole is it? His wife, she drew on a, a napkin or something like that. One of the par threes, I believe, if I remember right. Right, where are we? 187, seven iron. Right, I don't want to drive. Oh, there's my dog having a scratch. Stop it. Right. Let's go with the finesse six iron, I think. We'll put quite a lot of loft on it. I just want to go past the hole here a bit. I don't want to take this water on at all. Okay, a fast and an overswing. Should go past the pin. Is it going to hold the green up? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, seven inches down. A little bit of a turn right to the left here. Not too much though. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Oh, missed it. Our first part. I tell you, I've noticed from my swing as well. I seem to be coming out of the bomb if you look at my swing, my swing line. The fifth hole at Harbor Town is the second of the three par fives at 549 yards. A good drive should leave players with the chance to try and reach this green in two, but one larger and one smaller bunker protect the left side of this deep but narrow green. Yeah, there's a cracking course. I think all the courses that they play on this are beautiful. Done so well. Again, very, very tight up here. So I think we'll put a little bit of. Look at the dispersion rate on it though. It's massive. So I don't think I'm going to go with a power drive. Hold on. Is that a part? Yeah, it is a par five. I think I will go with a power drive. Gonna have to, as I said, put a little bit of draw on it. Because I think I might hit that branch there. That should be okay there. Well, it's turning quite nice. Oh, don't go too far. 
Uh, like I said, look, you're not getting hardly any run on the fairways at all. That landed okay. Right, approach five wood. No, nope. let's go down to the six hybrid. Um, I might just bring it in a little bit. Ooh, I don't know. Approach, finesse. A lot. No, I'll tell you what, I am going to go with the hybrid. We'll go with the approach. A um, little bit of fade on this one. Well, we've got 2.1% below the feet, so I can aim out here a little bit. So I don't actually need any fade on it then. That should be okay. It's going to be on the green. Not bad. That'll do it. Gives us an opportunity. The eagle. Ooh, tough little putt though. Oh, we've got 30 feet, 27 feet. I don't think that's turning, is it? Oh, we'll get the birdie though. Nice. There we go. Okay, four under after five. Pretty good. Oh, Tikala. He's at minus seven. He was up on the um, the leaderboard as well. I think he was third or fourth today after the third round. I'm sure he was. I didn't watch all of it. I'm going to have to. I'll watch um, the final round tomorrow, though. But shuffle has got it in the bag. I don't think there's many people beating him at the moment. Right. There you go. Look at my, see my, my swing line. Look, I can't get rid of that for some reason with this new controller. And that will be more than adequate to it's the same, well, it's not the same controller. This is a proper Xbox controller. The other one was a Xbox controller for Windows PC, but it was Microsoft. Right, what we've got here? Approach. Let's go finesse. Let's down loft it a little bit. And play a little bit out to the right here. Yeah, that should do lovely. Oh, 2.6 below the feet, so let's bring in just a little touch. Nice, we've got the perfect going up there. Oh, that's looking okay. Right, come on, another birdie. Decent sized green, it's not bad, just a little past the hole. This from about 10 feet. Yes. Five under after six. Bloody hell, we're gonna hit a good score this this um round, I think. Two off the lead. Oh I'll tell you what, I've got a key for um a new game that's just come out on Steam today. I might do a video well. I sh really should do a video on it because they, they issued me with a key for it. Uh, it's called No Rest for the Wicked. It's uh, an ARPG. Looks really good. So, um, if you ever seen Ori, was it Ori in the Forest or something? And then Ori in the Wisp or something like that was called. The, the art style was absolutely fantastic. It's the same people that did that. And they actually gave me a key for it, which I'm pretty chuffed about because... You don't usually get them giving keys to little tiny YouTube channels like mine. Right, I'm going to go with a 7-9 here. That wind should help. Oh, that should be good. Oh, it's going right for it. Oh, bloody hell, that was close. Oh, oh, oh. Another birdie. Look at that swing line. Bloody hell. Six under after seven. Here at the seven. And he moves to within a shot of the lead at six under now. One shot off the lead and we're still in the front nine. <laughs> okay, this one with the water on the left, yep. Yeah. It's a tight little greenness. Look at that pin position as well. Okay, I think we're going to have to put a bit of draw on this one. 
bring in from the right. That'll do lovely, it's turning nice. Oh, look at that, perfect. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another Okay, a little bit of wind just coming in from the right here. Right, um I'm gonna put a bit of loft on this one. A iron. Bring it back just a touch. Let's try that. Okay, nice, we've got the perfect at the top. Oh no, shit. Oh, that bloody turned a bit. Should be okay though. That's okay. That was on a little bit of an overswing at the bottom there. That wind wasn't very strong. I'm surprised it went um, that far. Let's go with a pick off the top here. Uh, yeah, pick. Why does it change camera on this bloody thing again? Nope, not that. It's not that. Ah, no, nope, it's not that. <laughs> Ah, I doubt we'll just go for it. I think I have changed the camera. Yeah. Right. Pick one. Yep. Can't really see properly. Oh, bugger. Chance to try that again. Right, I can see there. Oh, right, let's go past the pin. What have we got? 13. Let's try that. A fast bad hole. Damn it. Come on. Yeah, that was well under swung, that first one. Was it just for a bogey? It is, isn't it? Damn. Drops us back down to minus five. We should go. Oh, Fleetwood. Minus seven. With your sore shoulder. What this hole lacks in distance, it makes up for by forcing golfers to be strategic off the tee. Look at that for a hole. You imagine walking up that fairway and seeing that clubhouse. So best to lay up short. Yeah, South Carolina looks like a kind of a like a like an old plantation house, isn't it? Right, we'll go with the three wood here. We'll knock it off. I tell you what, we are going to go with the drive, but. Mm, yeah, I am going to go with the three wood. It leaves a, a good distance shot in there. Not a full shot. Uh, let me find out what the camera is. No, it's not that. That's not that. It's not that. Get off. Um. What? No. What the hell changes the camera again? Ah, what the hell? Let's just go for it. What did I say? I'm going to go with the three with dinner. That should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. Not bad at all. Good looking shot there. Well placed in the fairway. The big right, I've got, again, I'm going to change with these, this spinner shot. Mind you, it's a bit close to the... It should be okay, though. A bit close to the front of the green, that pin. Yeah, it stops a lot quicker than the pitch shot, even with them um, full loft. All right, can we get the birdie back here? Come on. Yes. Okay, six under. That's with the bogey on the front nine as well. Yeah, Tommy Fleetwood, minus seven. Who's that? Was that Just under him as well, was it, I think. Okay, tenth hole, par four, 451. Anything left could very well wind up in that lagoon, but anything on the fairway... A little bit of draw on this. ...to this second nine. Yeah, the cameras are... I can't remember what camera position I used to have in. It just looked a bit different now. Uh, it all looks 
so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Yeah, it's higher than it usually is. Ah, there we go. Ah, yep. So it's the right bumper. <laughs> but it's only when you're addressing the, the shot, it looks like. Okay. Uh, five mile an hour wind coming in from the left there. Eight iron. Let's put a bit of loft on it. Okay, right. Above the feet as well, it should be okay there. Okay, we've got the perfect. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, a little bit short. Ah, good shot again there. Well, 18 feet. Landing the ball short. That's, that's not a bad green. looking putt though. And inside, oh, I'd call that a birdie putt. So that's birdie range. Get in there. Okay, well done. A couple of birdies. Okay, we've caught up with leaders. The turn at nine and ten. So this is definitely our tournament. Woohoo! Got another one. To that. This eleventh hole at four hundred and thirty-six yards is another test requiring precision over power. This fairway narrows the nearer it gets to this green. Precision over power. Oh, this is one with the tree right in front of the the pin. Yeah, I remember this one. Okay, let's get a little bit of draw on this as well. Oh, that's a bit slow and an underswing. I was hoping to get a bit closer there, so we can probably go with a 9 9 or something in. Oh, we have got a 9 9, so we should be good if I put loft on it. Should get over that tree. Um, do I want the approach? Let's go with the finesse. Loft. Yeah, that'll do. That should spin back towards the hole, I think. Go on. Get over the tree. Oh, that's not bad at all. That'll do. Now that's a shot we can all learn from. Well thought out, pitched the ball short, saw the corridor up there, lets it bounce up on the green, and now a putt Oh, and oh, I thought that, ooh, <laughs> thought that was another birdie, that should have been. So that rushed in for par here at 11, and he'll stay at 700. The 12th hole at 430 yards is one of the rare dogleg rights on this course. If you can steer your ball into the fairway off the tee, you'll be left with a very manageable approach to a green flanked by bunkers both left and right. Okay, 430, 428. Uh, it should be good just hitting this one. I don't think any trees are going to, uh, no trees are going to come into play though. Oh, again, a slow, slow swing there. Is that going to push it over to the right? It is. Hit that person, bounce, go on. Oh, right on the bloody edge in the rough. Oh, God, 98, 98%. Tell you what, that's not bad, though. I think we'll just go straight at it. That wind should help. Okay, we've got the perfect little bit of an underswing, but it's going to be on the green. That's going to be pretty good. That'll do. Decent sized green. It's not bad. Just a little past the hole. Now this for another birdie. Pretty tame greens as well after playing the Masters last week. All round long, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Nice. Eight under. After what? 12? 13? After 12. That's for the bogey as well. Six holes to play. This is one of the more visually short Okay, short 373. On the 373 yard par 413. You've got trees flanking both sides, a few of which spring up right in the middle of the left bunker, leading to an approach to a slightly elevated green with Alan's Dye's signature cypress planks all around. Okay. Again, a little bit of draw on this, I think. Just try and keep away from that corner. Oh, big underswing again. 
not pulling it back far enough. That's going to be close to that rough on this right hand side, but that's fine. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive. That's what I say, there's not a lot of run on the fairway, so you, if you hit the fairway, you've not got a lot of chance to run out. Okay, let's put this back onto the spinner. There we go. Oh yes, that's so much better than the pit shop. Oh, and another birdie! Nine under. We're going to hit 12, 13 under here, I think, because I'm sure we've got another par five coming up. Well on his way to get another victory on the year. On to the 14th now. This one almost a mirror image of number four. It's a par three at 192 yards. At four, the danger was water. Okay, pin top right. On the right with a generous bailout area. Ah, good. The wind's going against us here, so that's pretty good. That's going to help. Don't want to drive. Let's go with the finesse. Put some high loft on it. I don't know why they just bring this in from the left and just make sure to stay away from that water. But we should be good. Come on. Oh yes, that should be okay. Oh, might be a bit far. Nope. Yep. Little chippy shot here. Oh, I dropped down to a five iron. I thought I was going in there with a six. Right. Let's try that. Turn. Go on. Get in. Oh, so close. I don't get many of them. At least we'll get the par. Okay, we've got the par five coming up next. And all these par fives are quite short as well, so they're quite easy to get on in two. As this is one you have to get onto the right hand side here. This one is a toughie, featuring a narrow landing area off the tee with bunkers on both sides, as well as a somewhat blind second shot requiring a... Yeah, it's good that the good pin's a little bit over to the right, so that's going to help. Come on, let's hit a good one here. Ooh, that is tough. Am I going to get over around that tree there? Can't afford to go out, though. Come on. That should be good. It's gone down that right hand side. That's perfect. Oh, look at that. Just bounce and stop dead. Right, five words. Hey, where's my three wood? Hold on. Ah, there we go. Three wood. Um, I'm not actually going to go on the green here, am I? I'm not going to go over them. The three wood. So, I think we are just going to drop this down to the five wood. Just smack it over the corner here. That should do. We'll leave us that little spinny shot into the green. Oh yeah. Full loft. Let's just take it back just a touch. Perfect. That'll do. Should pick up another birdie. Yeah, the greens are pretty tame, aren't they? I'm not surprised Scheffler hit a minus eight today. That's the part of his game that's really improved over this last year because he's putting. Last season, his putting wasn't that great, but he's kind of got it together now with his putting, so he's got the whole game now. That's the only thing that was kind of letting him down last season. Once you've got that power working, there's not many people that are going to catch him. Right, I want to be this right hand side here. So the wind is going to help. That'll do lovely. 0.2, 0.5. Oh shit, that wind. I mean, that tree. 
Once again, another great t -shirt. Is that going to be in the way? What well, made you? We could probably put fade on it. No, no. Wow. Hey, I'm sure we were well over to the right there. That's weird. It looked weird that. Thought it pushed me back. Pitching wedge. Don't want a power approach. I'm going to put a little bit of loft on this because we've got the wind going with us here. Uh, I want to go with a finesse actually. Bring it back just a touch. Now you know what? I'm not actually going to put any loft on it. I'm just going to let the wind carry a little bit. Okay, that should be good. Oh, that's going to come back. Oh, oh if I put loft on that, that would have come right back. Another birdie, come on. Yes. 11 under, two holes to go. And here's this little par three. It's a little cracker, this one. This is the one I think his wife, um, was it this one? You come to the 17th hole and you finally realize, that's right, I'm on an island. It's a par three measuring out at 174 yards. A spectacular view looking out over the water toward the Fusky Island. The biggest issue here Right. Bunker that juts across the front and left portions of the green. I can't remember if it is this one. I know he's, his wife um, scribbled one down on a napkin for him. I can't remember if it's this one or not. I'm sure it was par three. Ooh, that's going to be a little bit to the right, a little bit long. Again, that swing line. Look at my swing line. That's bugging me. My swing line used to be virtually perfect. Oh, I don't think I've moved this enough, have I? Oh, I have. Get in there, 12 under. I haven't hit this this low in a long time. Getting my game back, baby. <laughs> Look at this for a hole, though. Oh, goodness, beautiful. The par 4 18. Most will try to aim just right at that Hilton Head lighthouse in the distance. And that sets up what a up you? with trouble left and long and a large bailout area to the right. Perfect. That's the thing with this game, though. There's not a lot of... um. You don't get penalized off the tee very much, do you, compared to 2K23 with the, the tempo? Right. Approach. Let's put a little bit of loft on this one. Let's try and get this close. Oh, got a fast and overswing. Oh, that's going to be good, though. Oh, yes. Birdie to finish. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, we'll get the par. We'll still finish at minus 12. Five shots ahead of the field. Not bad. So, that's another trophy into the locker. Into the trophy room. <laughs> so, there you go, guys. That's RBC Heritage at Harbour Town Golf. Links. There we go. You know, it's when you, if you win these, only a few of them actually show you the trophy. I, they, they should have a trophy for every single one. So, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.